Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. It will help me produce more content for my channel. Now, this video has been prompted by a subscriber who asked about um, making a model in Companion, in OpenTX Companion, and then restoring it to their radio. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to clarify how you do this. So let's switch over to OpenTX Companion. Now, I've already opened up OpenTX Companion. You need to make sure you're on the right radio. Now, I have several radios, so I have to make sure that it's in the correct one, and it is the TX16S. And I'm not going to go into uh, the detail of setting up OpenTX Companion because I've already done that in previous videos. This is about um, making a model and then restoring it to your radio. So what I'm going to do is plug in my radio and select USB storage. There we go. And we are going to read those settings from the radio. Now, it should be this icon here. There we go. Read models and settings from the radio. Let's do that. Now, this is important because we need to make sure we back up our models, especially the amount of uh, different models I have on my radio because of YouTube. Um, it's really important to do it so you don't lose them all. Right, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom here. We're going to right click and we're just going to make up a model. So we're just going to add a model. I'm going to call it, so I'm just going to call it back up. And then we're going to just do all the defaults. The important bit is not about setting up the model. It's, a, it's just about how to back the process up. I've gone through this, how to do this in other videos. Right, next. And we're going to say OK and finish. Now you can see our new model there. Now what we're going to do is you can see, if we look at this, you can see there's an asterisk there. So that means this has not been saved yet. So we need to save it. So I'm going to go File and we're going to save as. And you can see I'm in my Radio Master TX16S uh, backup folder. So I'm just going to tap that one and I'm going to replace that because that is today's date, the date that I made this video. I'm just going to replace that one. So there we go. Now we've backed up. Now to put it back onto our radio, all we need to do is go to this icon here. You can see radio model settings, uh, right radio model settings to radio. We click that. Now it doesn't show, tell us it's actually finished the process. So just leave it for a minute or so and then unplug your radio. But don't be too keen to do it because it could cause a corruption. Uh, I wish uh, it would come up and say, you know, process complete or whatever, but it doesn't. That should be it. So let's unplug the radio. And I'm now going to go into my select model. There we go. And if I go down to others, there we go. I should go to the bottom and I should hopefully see that model. There it is. There we go. I don't know if I'll be able to show you this. Let's have a look. You can see it's at the bottom. So there we go. That's how you um, restore your models to your radio. Now, this is really important. If you have a lot of models like I've got um, for, you know, for the YouTube, the different types of um, video that I've done for YouTube, you need to make sure you back those up because there's a lot of work been involved in there. And also, you don't want to reset up your models j just because, you know, you might do a firmware update and then something goes wrong. So it's always worth doing backups. And as you saw when uh, producing this video, there's lots of backups there of my radios as I've gone through the time and I've uh, backed them up. But there we go. Before I go, I just wanted to add something that I just thought of once I finished uh, in post on the video. And is, I'm going to show you, I want to quickly show you something. I'm going to go and open up um, a t one of my TX16S backups. So let's go to the last one. OK, now you see what happens. I've actually got the radio set up as the TX16S with my backup open. If I now try and open up another radio's a backup, you can see it says currently selected radio type, Radio Master 16 s is not compatible. And it's asking me if I want to convert it. So you would then say yes. Now, once you've got the conversion, you could now transfer one of these um, rad uh, models over to your other radio. So let's copy the tracer model over to my TX16S. I'm going to right click and say copy. And then I'm just going to click on other and I'm going to say paste model. 
Now you can see what it's done at the um, on my others category directory. You can see the receiver tracer is there is now on this radio. So you can see there's an asterisk. So what we'd have to do is say file save and then restore that. Now we've copied this uh, model over to this uh, transmitter. But of course, what I would suggest is when you fire up your radio, you must check that everything did transfer across properly so that your model doesn't accidentally arm. Uh, I can't reiterate that more, that you must just check properly when you're transferring from one type of radio to another, that it is actually working properly, especially with uh, regard to your arming of your motor with your quad or your fixed wing. I hope you found this video useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.